Hello again. Today's little project, I want to transfer this gas monkey monkey onto some wood. Now, I've done one of these before, and if I can just show you, that's one I did before. As you can see, I removed the garage sign. We didn't need that. But I'm doing this for a friend of mine whose surname is Nash. So he wanted the gas replacing with Nash and a little bit bigger if we can. So I'll show you what we've got so far. As you can see, it's slightly bigger. So that's our original one, A4 size. And what I want to do is go bigger. This is 29 inches by 35. And like I say, we've changed the gas to Nash. So that's our little project for today. The best way I transfer this onto the wood is with carbon paper, like so, and literally put nine pieces on and draw around it all. Some people can stick the paper straight to the wood and route over the top. It just doesn't work for me, so my best bet is to draw it on like so. You can see that. Shaded in the areas I want to remove with the router, and we're good to go. The wood itself is fence panelling, just for your garden. It's quite cheap wood to do, with three strips along the back and basically just screwed in. The good thing about that is, as it gets warm, the wood does shrink and you might end up with a decent gap. You could actually undo the screws at the back and squash it back up. But there again, winter time, it will swell up. And these all go outside. So that's our little project for today. Let's go down to the shed and I'll show you a, a few more that's up, that I've done beforehand. So you can see the idea that we're going for and what we should hopefully end up with. So let's go in the shed, start doing our monkey. I'll just show you the rear of the project piece. It might seem a bit over the top with all the screws, but this wood will twist and turn slightly, so it just keeps it all in place. And there's the other side, so let's start routing this out, shall we? You can see from the size of my little workshop, I don't really get a lot of room to play. The good thing about these screwed back on these, I've been known to unscrew a strip, and basically just do that one at a time and then do the next one like so but I'll, tr I'll try it as a full piece but if not we'll take it apart the main bit I'm going to use for this quarter inch straight imperial cutter I like this one because it's just, just nice size small little CNC bits they're really for the tight bits under the eyes and stuff. But most of it I would do with this nice new one. So let's get it set up. And we'll start routing this monkey beastie out. Right, I've made a start on this. It's not going too badly. I'll, uh, I'll set this camera up. And you can see me doing one of the letters. And then I'll really crack on and blow through this and see what we can do.
Right, we've got the easiest bit done. Now I'm going to change the end of the root a bit and go for this little pointed thing. And what I think I'm going to do is basically draw all around these bits with this and then put on the one we had before and hopefully as I come in with the wood as it reaches the bit that I've gone round it should just pop out. I've got little concerns about this bit round here, that small bit. You're going with a big piece of router bit and that bit's going to pop out the middle. So to play safe I'm basically going to draw around it all with this pointed one and like I say when it comes up to that that section should pop out and not damage a bit in between. I've already got it on my router and I'm ready to go as you can see in there. So I'll draw around this I'll do a little bit to show you and then I'll crack on. Right, I don't know if you can see, but I've actually gone all the way around this. That was back breaking. So I've gone around everything. And you can see the bits that are starting to pop out nicely. So that's the hardest bit, hopefully. So I've removed the pin one like so. And we're going to put in our original one the quarter inch straight bit and hopefully if we start taking these sections out as we come up to the line that we've cut these should pop out that section without too much difficulty I've gone around the hardest bit which would have been the, this one this bit here if I'd done that with this piece I think all that would have popped out there's little bits I've got to come back later some of these are quite pointed here but like I say, I've gone round with the CNC bit. So as I approach with this one, hopefully they should pop out and don't get as much trouble. I'll crack on with this and continue. Right, that's all complete. Took some getting round. Went round with sandpaper just to sand it off. But what I've done, I've deliberately made this all rough looking. If you can see that, because when the black's on, I want it to give it a fur effect, you know, like a monkey fur. So I'm quite happy to leave that rough like that. The paint I'm going to use, simple painter's touch. It's not what I would normally use, but uh, it's, just, it's a blacker blacker, if that makes sense. So I'll get this thrown on here now, and then we'll come back with the sanding. Right, that's all painted. And we're ready for sanding. Now to be honest it's quite a big piece so the belt sander would be better. However I think it's a bit aggressive for this kind of wood. Especially around these areas here. Around the eyes. They're going to be quite delicate. There's little bits over here that's going to come off. So today I'm going to just go with a little sander. And even this could be a bit delicate. Might end up using a burr on the Dremel just for these really small bits here, which I feel might just pop off. Anyway, I'm prepared to give it a go. So let's get a mask on and get on with this sanding. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I'll continue cleaning this off. I had all intentions of videoing this and doing the old classic fast forward bit. It took over an hour to get it off. I've really struggled with this and I think I about broke me back. <laughs> but not to worry, you've got to suffer for your out. So all we need now is a good brush off and then I'll get some linseed oil uh, just to darken this wood down. The wood doesn't need treating as it's tantalised and been pressurised anyway because it Remember, it's an outside panel, fencing panel, so it's already treated. But I'm going to throw some linseed on just to make it pop a little bit more. And then we'll see what the end product's like. Right, we finally got outside for the uh, last bit, which is the linseed oil. Nice sunny day today. So I'm going to throw this on, just a standard linseed oil. Nothing, nothing too fantastic. And just see the difference it makes on the wood. Love it. basically just just throw it all over we'll come back when it's finished one project finished one aching back thanks for watching